What's up everybody, Nello Angela here with another stream slash YouTube video, maybe possible series, but this is only supposed to be a hour long game to pay on if you do everything perfectly the first time or without any issues, so probably just be a one and done type thing once I port this over to YouTube. If I decide to port it over to YouTube, let's see how the stream goes first. So we are going to be playing a game called Chicken Feet, which is basically you stealthily getting around a giant chicken that supposedly wants to kill you for whatever reasons. Not sure if it's genetically altered to kill the first thing it sees or if it's because it's just following its whatever nature to kill what it thinks is fucking threatening it or something. I don't know. But so I saw I think it was the Outer Middle show playing it and it looked kind of funny and stupid at the same time. I think it would be something really great that my uh, cousin at Terrible Terrors would probably enjoy. Well, I don't know about enjoy, but probably would get a good laugh at at playing himself. Sorry, just getting some of my stuff ready. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into some chick on a feet. Let me go ahead and change this over. Forgot to do that. Still showing a man of the adventure. There we go. All right. New game. And it's one of those games where, oh shit. I have to adjust the screen size, probably. There we go. Don't think there's anything significant we missed. It's my pleasure to welcome you to the most sophisticated, beautiful, and intricate science facilities in the entire world. I'll be your guide today. You can call me Sergeant Corey. I can't actually tell you what my real name is for confidential reasons, but I always thought Corey was a nice name. Anyway, we've got a lot of work to do. I'm sure you've already been informed. A giant chicken? Lots of death? Uh, yeah, it's a, it's a pretty bad problem. But I have faith in us. We're gonna make a great team. I'm tracking your location, so I'll always know where you are. I'm here to help. Now, enjoy the glamour while you still can. You'll be heading deep into this facility, and I promise you, this is the best that it'll look. Yeah, because... Alright, so apparently, I guess, cinematic settings is garbage, so let's go ahead and drop it down to epic. Apply. A little better. Somewhat, somewhat kind of laggy. All right, our first destination is actually below us. So, uh, find a way to get there. Maybe through a vent? Good luck. Goober research. Okay, so. So, kind of laggy, so not sure if it's because the game just isn't optimized properly or because it's only i think there's only like what a uh eight or twelve gigabyte game so there should be no reason for it to actually put a put a lot of stress on my uh on my computer rig all right so that, that way i don't think there's anything over here nope that's locked And then, not sure if this is one of those... Not sure if this is one of those games where... I don't believe there's a combat system, if I remember correctly. I think it's just... It's like Outlast, where it's basically just... Uh, run and hide until, you, until it's all clear. There's the screwdriver right there. And then, so I'm assuming... 
we collect items here and there and they probably just disappear as we use them or progress however you want to put it grab the screwdriver use the event to reach the next area no shit Wandering around. All right. Hey, I just want to tell you, you got to be very careful here. You really shouldn't underestimate this thing. If you do see the chicken, just run. Try to hide somewhere where he can't reach you. He. I thought chickens were female. I thought only cocks, which are the roosters, are the males. Welcome to Goober Laboratories. Complete the intro of Chicken Feet. Right now. Looks like we're on the inside. Nope, don't see nothing yet. Alright. Yeah. Oh, see something. Alright. So obviously that's the chicken. Now, is it one of those things where the chicken is going to go away once we get there? Or let me see if there's any place I'm supposed to run to. Nope, I'm assuming the chicken's gonna go away and then it's gonna chase me in a little bit point a little bit later on. Hopefully that's the case. Yep, chicken just took off. What, you saw it? Uh, be very careful. Make sure you don't let it catch you, uh, obviously. <laughs> obviously. Um, listen, I know this might seem annoying, but there are three levers down here that you'll need to pull. They'll open the door that's going to let you proceed. Now, I understand how redundant that may seem, but it's all in the name of security. All right, good luck. I'll talk to you soon. Be careful down there. And pull three levers to unlock the exit door. And by my understanding... The chicken is supposed to be obviously faster than you, so best thing to do is to hide. You can't just run from it, because it'll eventually catch up to you, which sucks, but it is what it is. Alright, so that's the exit. Yeah, see, there's the vents. Now, does that sound mean that the chicken is near, or that... Yep. So basically, that's... So basically, that's just telling me that the stupid chicken is nearby when you hear that horrendous music. We just moved Sebastian into the red cell while work continues downstairs. I know he isn't really a human, but... It's like growing up in prison, but worse. He's got no friends, no freedoms. I honestly don't know why Eric is doing all of this to him. At least he has an education. But even then, I think it's just for the sake of testing. So what if he's genetically modified? A human's a human, right? Playing that got the chicken's attention. <laughs> so stupid, but at the same time, it's a little hilarious.
I only wish you could actually change the controls. Not sure if this thing has a heightened sense of hearing or not. Oh shit. You can't get me. So are you just gonna camp over here, bro? Or are you just gonna make your way out soon? There you go. That's right. What's up, Crystal? Enjoy. Oh shit. Enjoy me running away from a giant chicken? You missed me! Now go away. <laughs> hey man. A chicken like this will feed a freaking village. Alright, go away. Come on, quit taking your sweet-ass time. Just go. Oh, you bitch. Alright, so... I guess I'll just have to go when it turns around. But uh, I'm pretty sure the other lever I need is on that side. You piece of shit chicken. Yep. It'd be funny if there was a giant cock running around trying to get at this chicken. Be some giant... Foul love. Damn it. You gonna go away anytime soon or what? Okay, so that's... Really? A key? So where the hell... Okay, so there's gotta be a key around here somewhere then. Where would be said key? That's clearly, I'm assuming the key is over where, I mean the third switch is behind that door which needs a key, which sucks. Oh shit, I think I'm fucked. I'm fucked. Unless the chicken won't chase me back here. I just ran into a corner, so I'm fucked. <laughs> Choke that chick. Okay, so maybe it won't chase me back here, which is nice. Key. Is there a key around here? Okay, so this is where you see the shadow of the chicken, so maybe it won't come past this point, which is, uh... 
I guess kind of nice. Where the hell would this damn key be that I need? can have her back right after we chop her fucking head off. Alright, where the hell would this damn- oh, there it is. Oh shit! <laughs> I guess that sent him off. Uh, is it gonna be one of those things where he's just gonna. Oh, never mind. Wasn't sure if it was gonna be one of those things where the stupid bird was just gonna camp there or what. I don't know about luck, I think that was supposed to happen. be the best way. Oh shit! This way's blocked all of a sudden? That's lame! How, where the hell did this fucking vent come from? That makes no sense! That's so stupid! That made no damn sense. Where the fuck did that vent just mysteriously come that uh vent grate mysteriously come from? Is there something in here? This wasn't open before. Alright, you stupid bird, where are you? Complete level one of chicken feet. That was considered a level? No, all right. Uh, not a house. It's more of a, like a factory there, Crystal. All right, you made it. Nice job. We're getting closer. Just keep going. The golden chicken, Cooper. All right. So there's that way. Okay, so I'm guessing I can't go that way. Yeah, basically trying to find out. I'm guessing what's going on, what happened, or what 
going on at this factory and then at the same time trying to run away from a giant murderous chicken. If I push that, let me see if this button over here does anything. So that opens another door. Pumpkins. Maybe getting ready for This is Mrs. Lawrence, Sebastian's new teacher. I am here with a progress report. He's coming along very nicely. He's improving in What's up there, Ido? How are you? Reading, writing, and speaking. I do have one concern. He seems to have scars on his body. I don't mention this in an accusatory way. What happens when I'm not here isn't any of my business. I just thought I would bring it up in case they were self-inflicted. I'll be back next week. and I was supposed to... Is he gonna come back up? Alright, that was good. Going down. Into hell. Alright, so we have no... Flashlight, so I'm assuming we just follow this light. Did someone just walk in front of me? Alright. Yeah, your stamina bar kind of looks like a, uh, like a status bar for, from a computer. Alright. Town Square, point seven. All right, so are we going to come across the giant chicken in this giant barnyard looking factory setting now? Probably not optimized very well because it's very pretty laggy. Not crazy, crazy laggy, but it's very noticeable. Or not enough to affect gameplay for the most part. Alright, so there's clearly places for me to run and hide into the next room so I'm pretty sure the chicken is going to be com making a come come back again where according to my map the exit to this area is locked and it can't be opened from your current location looks like you'll need to get up there where that blue light is there should be an elevator system that can help you Find a way to reach the blue light, yeah, without getting murdered by a giant chicken. Alright, let's see. I'm pretty sure... Probably not right now. I'm pretty sure, I'm guessing this is one of those types of games where after you start making a little progression, 
then the chicken will probably start coming out. Or, who knows, it might be behind this door. Nope. But I do have a feeling that it's going to come out somewhere. Yeah, it's probably going to be sometime when I make a little progress in this area. So you can jump. Alright. Not sure if there was a purpose for that. Unless it was just like a like a last resort to get away from the chicken. I know you would fuck it. I know you would try and fuck a giant chicken there, Scott. Hell, you might even take it home with you. Find a pipe and use it to fix the elevator system. Okay, so that's just another place to hide from the giant chicken. Oh, the chicken's back now. There he is. Run, don't Boy, they really should make it where you could change the control, because it's so stupid having to use crouch as control. And where the hell would I find a damn pipe? how fast this chicken is but let's see how far we can get all right so something telling me the pipe is around this air somewhere around here Bastard. Boy, they really need to change this. Alright. They really need to change let you change the fucking using control as the fuck let me see if I can change it.
Because using control... Alright, that's stupid. That's an uncomfortable button to use. Where the hell would this pipe be? Alright, can't jump up there. Can't jump on this toolbox? No. This guy can't jump for shit. Sure, I can't jump up here. No, I can't. This guy sucks. See me here in the bushes? Fucking pinkies. <laughs> Fucking pinkies cramping up from the stupid crouch button, man. You died. No shit. But where the fuck would I find this pipe? With the left, with the left control, with the left control as a fucking run button, man. Actually, let me see if I can use the Xbox controller since there's no combat system in this. Nope, doesn't look. Oh wait, holy shit, that fucking. Sensitivity is crazy. All right. Okay, so let's run. All right, so. How do I run using the controller, since I know how to left trigger? Okay, so that'd be the right trigger then, since I have my button swapped. Try using this damn controller instead of the keyboard, without fucking cramping up my pinky trying to use the stupid left, con left control button. on this controller is too fucking high, man. I 
how your character's supposed to slide. Sensitivity for the controller is a tad high, but I think I can make do with that. Just gotta find out what this damn pipe is. <laughs> You'd be surprised at the crazy shit people come up with there, Scott. Alright, so he's clearly in this other room, which I'm wondering if, unless it's in that shed-like thing. Oh, now he slides! going. Go in there. Oh, you cocksucker. Let me guess. You don't go after me because I'm in cover? You just looked right at me. Is it because I'm not out in the open? Where the fuck do I go? Ah oh, shit, he caught me. Oh shit! <laughs> Alright, so that option is out because the sensitivity is way too fucking high on that controller, so let's uh do this. Where the hell would there be a pipe be? Well, Can I get around this stupid ass chicken? in that shed. Nope, not in there. <laughs> it looks so stupid. Where the fuck would this pipe be? Let me see if I can look around really quick before I push this button. Maybe pushing the button is what uh, triggers the chicken to come out. Nope, never mind. I guess the chicken comes out when you make your way back here. So, where the fuck? Alright, so this is gonna suck ass. An hour's worth of gameplay will be...
Run, motherfucker! Can I go in here? What? You telling me that he couldn't squeeze through that? Or that or the chicken caught me before I went in there? I don't know. here wonder if I can open that shed like door no all right I could tell this is gonna suck donkey balls There we go. Now I just gotta get past the stupid chicken. his fucking head off okay so I know where the damn pipes are I just gotta get past this damn chicken Oh, what the hell? Are they are they randomly placed, or do I actually keep the pipes that I found? Well, this is gonna suck. Well, I guess I'll make my way back to see if I can fix that. Uh... Let's see if we still get the we still if the pipes are placed randomly or if I still have them. No, my luck. I probably have to find them somewhere else. Yep, that fucking blows. That's stupid.
They were supposed to be back here, right? Or was it... Aha, uh... Uh -huh. so they randomly move them. I guess kind of makes sense to make a little bit of a challenge. past this stupid chicken, that would be great. How did it catch me? How did it fucking see me? That was that is absolute bullshit. I was not even within his fucking line of sight. Whatever, man. Chickens aren't even that smart anyway. They're dumb animals. Kinda of hard to slide. Come on, you stupid bird. Run like a little bitch. I am here. Nope. Get back here. Nope. I don't think the chicken will be able to squeeze it. Well, actually, I'm not going to press my luck.
Okay, never mind. Alright, so it looks like the chicken, or sounds like the chicken, is going back where I need to go. That's right, make your way around. Come on. Yeah, good chicken. Keep going straight. Got it. There you go. That's it, baby. Something tells me I'm going to have to sneak around that chicken. Oh, shit. It was, the chicken went on the lift. Never mind. All right. So this part's going to be fun. Trying to sneak around that damn chicken and time it perfectly just to get on that stupid lift. And I take it there's no save feature. Now it's like I'm playing Ring Around the Rosie with this giant chicken. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> lift me up, baby! Let me up, let me up, let me up, let me up, let me up! Go, 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 go! Of course! The one time when I actually need to use it, it's gonna be slow as fuck, but every other time it seems like, oh! It'll take about three to five seconds. Well, at least I don't have to... Uh, at least I get to continue where I left off at. Okay, so it's very, very time-consuming, which means... Ugh, fuck this chicken. Alright. At least they're nice enough to let you... i like to see you try, Crystal, then get back to me. Anyways... There's gotta be a way where I can lure it somewhere.
perfectly good good way to go when the chicken was out of reach. God damn it. And watch, know my luck, when I get it just right, that's gonna take a sweet ass time. That time, it seemed like it went pretty fucking fast. I'm like, oh, we're just gonna take our time and just let you get screwed over by the giant fucking chicken. Get on it! Really? Even when it was- I could have sworn it started going up and the fucking chicken still got me? That's some bullshit! Don't go up, don't go up, don't go up! Really? So, I can't, well actually I probably could have jumped, which I forgot there was a jump on, but you're telling me that as it was slowly going up, I couldn't get on it, but yet when it was slowly going up, the chicken killed me. That made a lot of sense. Like that literally did not make any sense at all. Oh, whatever. All right. try this. Let me get the chicken's attention. I'll hit the button. Run around. <laughs> Think he's about to catch me. Think he's about to catch me. Fuck. That's a stupid. Doesn't help that the chicken purposely keeps camping around. game that was supposed to be done within an hour, it's already been an hour, so that just shows you how much this sucks.
All right, chicken, you really need to fuck off. First off, you know, if this was a real life situation, oh shit, somebody would have had a knife with them. Oh shit. <laughs> and to start shanking that motherfucker in his neck. Fuck! Ah. Right when I think I have a perfect opening. Oh, chicken! Why does it fucking seem like it takes fucking forever when I get on the goddamn platform, but when the chicken fucking fucks it up for me, oh, we're gonna go up just like that! It's like magic! Fucking bullshit. About time, shit. That was stupid. At least I had a check. Run, you son of a bitch! Damn! Natural habitat. Complete level 2 of chicken feet. You aren't who I thought you were, but that doesn't mean you're different. What exactly are your intentions? Are you lost? Are you looking for a way out? Or are you here to hurt me? You wouldn't want to hurt me, but... Uh, okay. I want you to stay away, and I really don't think you understand what's going on here. I was able to break free and escape. None of you humans were strong enough to stop me. Others weren't so lucky. They weren't strong enough. But I saved them, and I killed everyone who got in my way. And I won't stop at you. But for now, I'll give you a chance. Just open that door, and I'll give you your freedom. Alright. Promise me that you'll leave. Got that? Never come back. So... Okay. doing don't kill yourself yet uh, all righty i mean uh wait wait a minute how how did you get here from where you were it should be impossible to this is really strange y you shouldn't be down here <laughs> we can work with this just hang tight oh 
And if you find any sort of tape recorder, please do not play it. There's a lot of confidential information down here. Right. All right, so... What is it, the fucking chicken was talking to me telepathically or something? All right, so... What other kind of weird situations are they going to put me in that's going to suck even more ass? Not sure how much running away from a giant chicken we can put up with. If okay, so that's either locked or blocked. Alrighty. if I was supposed to find this right away or not. Oh, that's for the other side. Okay, so... That's for the other side, but let's see what's over here really quick. This side. Uh, what's this, like a little butcher section? This is Eric's audio journal, day 561. Today marks the 20th anniversary of Sebastian's birth, the product of Project Rebirth, the world's first genetically modified human. It can read, write, and even speak. It's incredible. The pinnacle of our discoveries. We still haven't revealed it to the public. We have to wait. The more tests we can do, the better chances we have of improving it. We just need more testing. But it isn't perfect. It... it isn't. And we will reattempt Project Rebirth within the next five years. I don't care what the executives say. I don't care what the doctors say. I don't care what the mother says. We will get this right. All right, so it seems to me like the person that's somewhat or that's supposed to be guiding you throughout this is uh, somehow involved in all this. Because that sounds exactly like the same similar voice of the person that's actually guiding you or talking to you, assisting you, whatever. And of course, why am I not surprised that this is one of those type of games where the same said people that are supposed to be helping you are the same said people that are that are involved in everything. Checkpoint, that's good. I already know something fucked up is going to happen soon. Who the fuck is that creepy looking motherfucker? I don't mean to scare you. You and I, we are not different. My name is Sebastian. That's what they've always called me. <clears throat> you. I've been following you. I've been listening. I know that you don't work here. You are oblivious to what's really going on. I've heard your radio. That voice. I know him. He's not who you think he is. His name is Eric. He created this place. 
He's the one that has caused us this pain. Eric is evil. He is a monster. And he wants to cause more pain. You and I, we can stop him. Otherwise, he is going to kill us, both of us. Eric's using you, and he'll kill you. You're a loose end. You've seen too much. And the chicken. He wants the chicken. That's why he sent you, right? <laughs> the chicken's name is Cooper. Cooper. I doubt he told you that. When Cooper broke out, he saved me. And now, Eric wants to capture him again. He wants to cause more pain. I've got a plan. I'll save us. You just need to lure him down here. Just follow his instructions. I'll save you. Alright, so just like I thought, the same person that's supposed to be helping helping us is the asshole that did all this. Okay, so I figured it out. This place has gas pipes running behind the walls. If we pump sleeping gas into the pipes, we can put the chicken to sleep without damaging it. And of course, you would also fall asleep, but I'd just wake you up plain and simple. Yeah, okay. At this point, that seems to be our only option. So, you'll need to let the gas into the pipes first, then you'll need to release the gas. Simple enough. If this is the last time we speak, before I wake you up, of course, then I'll just say it's been a pleasure. Yeah, find a way to let the sleeping gas into the pipes. It's been a pleasure. Yeah, okay. the yep knew the chicken was going to be back soon so this is the gas release so need the gas in the pipes first Not where I want you to go, but why don't you go around this wall? You're supposed to. Yep. Yeah, kind of same thing like Bioshock, where you got uh, Atlas guiding you, and it turned out that he was Fontaine in the end. Come on, you stupid chicken! Go around the wall. That's what I need you to do. Unless I can just sneak right by you. Like, of course.
I don't know where I'm going. And I'm dead. So. Hopefully. Where the hell am I? So hopefully this is the uh, last part since apparently we need to put this giant chicken to sleep. Now, if this dumb fucking chicken would do as he needs to be doing by going around, fucking piece of shit. Alright. Get us some distance away from that chicken really quick. Per Eric's instructions, we must execute the 43 newly delivered pigs. He says they aren't pure enough, or something. They're not pure. Portable. He's also requesting that we produce more rat embryos of uh, type 16. Also, just a reminder to perform <laughs> the usual nightly cleaning routine. You forgot last time. Clean the bloodied machinery, sweep the floors, and uh, dust off the bones and deposit them in the bag. Oh, and uh, that Sebastian kid. He's not affected by the sleeping gas. Eric isn't happy. Find something stronger. Oh, one last thing. Those pigs we need to reorder? Eric says he wants exactly 98 pigs. Exactly 98. Not 100. <laughs> 98. Got that? We'll be terminated if the count is off by one. <laughs> Eric's words, not mine. Alrighty. So now let's see if we can. Uh oh. Dead cow. Did I just drop into a different level? So I'm guessing that's the gas release. So now I gotta go and put this giant chicken. Oh shit. This giant chicken to sleep. Come on. And of course, you're gonna go back up. You son of a bitch. Okay, like always, this is gonna suck ass, because why not? I've already gone left, so now, or uh, yeah, so, I think there's another switch or two on the other side, or just more logs, I don't know. Oh shit, he's on the other side. That's nice to know. And there's
back this way or not. I'm guessing I'm supposed to get it to chase me into the other room so I can put it to sleep. See me, I'm shocked. Yes, yes. Sleep, complete level three of chicken you. feet. You have no idea how much this means for the lab. Thank you. Uh, I never actually learned your name. Not that I needed to, <laughs> or even wanted to. You did well as an intern, and I'm sorry it had to end this way. Your sacrifice is in the name of science. What? Eric. How, how did you... It's over, Eric. <laughs> it's over. Please. Don't. Are we gonna Please. see what happens? Or oh, not? Well, they got filled full of lead. You were never worthy of forgiveness. And for you, I'm so sorry. This world didn't deserve you. And you deserve. So much more. So this guy killed me too, or did he kill himself? And I'm still alive. You're safe. Oh, he must kill the chicken then. I killed Eric. He's gone. He can't hurt us anymore. Cooper's also gone. It's better this way. He was filled with too much pain and anger. He was never going to return to normal. He deserves peace. For the first time ever, I am free. You and I, we share something special. We are human. Well, I don't know about you, but I am. I am human. Sure, buddy. I We are human. Complete chicken feet. Okay, so... Alright, so that is the game Chicken Feet. So the game was projected to be about an hour's worth of gameplay, assuming there were no hiccups, screw-ups, whatnots, but, you know... For me, the second stage was what kicked my ass the most, trying to time that stupid elevator. First and third level wasn't as bad, but the second level sucked ass. So, you know, for a, a little indie game, it, it's not bad. I think it was, what, five, seven bucks, something like that? So I'd say it was worth the price for a short little short little game. Um, you know, it's stupid humor. It's, 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 if you like stupid type horror type humor type thing, I think this would be the game for someone to enjoy. Um, I'm pretty sure my cousin at Terrible Terror is assuming if he's, um, I'm pretty sure he's not watching. I think he's, uh, playing with the, the, their friends because they, uh, I know they play, I think, 
I don't know. It's either Call of Duty or Fortnite on Wednesdays. They always change that. Maybe even sometimes Fall Guys, but uh, but I'm pretty sure if he catches this, he may or may not like it, or who knows, he might even want to play it himself because it's just that stupidly hilarious. Hey, look, there's Cooper right there. May the giant chicken rest in peace. So that is it. Uh, be sure to follow my other family members on Twitch. Uh, Solus underscore 64. Dragonfly Rain, all one word. Rain as in Blood Rain. And then Terrible Terrors, all one word. I will actually have their links in the bottom of the description on my YouTube on this YouTube video. Um, and then as always, if you can give me a follow on Twitch, if you're watching right now, I would greatly appreciate it. I'm about 19 away from being affiliated, so a little little support goes a long way. And if you're and if you're catching this on YouTube, please consider subscribing to my channel. YouTube channel is NiloAngelo02 for those who are watching this currently on Twitch. And then my link for uh, my Twitch channel will be at the bottom of the description on the YouTube channel as well. So if you can, if I can get my followers slash subscribers from either platform to jump across and follow me and subscribe to each one, that would greatly help. Especially out of the 139 subscribers I have on YouTube, all I need is 19 of you to actually uh, follow me on Twitch to get me a feeling. Or hell, if I can get all 139 of you to follow, that would be even better. Because then that would put me at a uh, higher follow rate than what my... Uh, brother-in-law, my cousin, and my sister are currently at. So, again, I am Nilo Angelo. I hope you really enjoyed this, and if you'd like to see more content like this, please leave me a comment in the comment section. Take care. <laughs>